Hello, and welcome to Cooking Lessons for Dad, where you'll learn to cook healthy, cook easy. My name is Karen Breyer, and today I'm going to show you how to cut and peel a whole butternut squash. And I'm gonna cut it into one inch cubes. It's pretty easy. So the first thing that you need to do is cut off both ends so it could sit flat. Next, I'm gonna cut the butternut squash between the neck and the bulb. I'm gonna peel the skin away with a Y-shaped vegetable peeler. It's a little bit easier and you can peel it away from you. You wanna peel away any green streaks so you have only orange, vibrant flesh. Next, I'm gonna cut the bulb size lengthwise in the middle. Then I'm gonna scoop out the seeds and the stringy fiber. I'll do the same with the other half. What works really good is a grapefruit spoon. If you have that, it has those sharp edges that gets the seeds and the stringy fibers out really easily. Next, I'm gonna cut each half in one inch slices. Or whatever size that you want. So now I'm gonna cut in the opposite direction. The neck is a lot easier to make in similar sized cubes. When you cube your butternut squash, you want to make them in similar sizes so they cook evenly. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut my other butternut squash the same way. I'm gonna cut between the neck and the bulb. Then I'm gonna go ahead and start peeling again. I think the Y-shaped peeler is easier than the regular one, but you can use either one you would like. You do want a really sharp peeler because the, the skin is kind of tough. With the vegetable peeler, you can just lay it on the side and peel that way. I'm peeling off the green streak, so I just have the orange vibrant flesh. And I found that some curves are easier with the straight vegetable peeler some curves are easier with the Y-shaped vegetable peeler, so if you have them both, you might want to use them both, and whatever's easiest. Okay, I'm gonna cut this in half, and scrape out the seeds and the fibrous strings. Okay, so next I'm gonna cut the butternut squash into one inch slices. So we have lots and lots of butternut squash ready to use in a recipe. If you want to learn how to roast butternut squash, check out that lesson. So I'll see you in the next lesson.